With each new day, the world population increases by 210,000 people. It stands to reason that food production must double by 2050 in order to keep in line with food demands of 9 billion people on our planet. This requires intense agricultural output in the future. The biggest challenges are better use of existing agricultural food resources, find new ways of producing food resources, use our nitrogen and phosphorus resources better, minimize the consumption of medicine, and ensure biosecure husbandry. We must strive to achieve healthy, competitive, and sustainable agriculture for the future. Worldwide, we see numerous examples in research where sustainable solutions in global food production are being investigated. At the forefront is a Danish company, European Protein, that works with the innovation and development of biotechnological food products. Founder and CEO of European Protein, Jens Legart. Our mission is to develop food products using biotechnology. It must fit into the environment, welfare and use of fewer resources. As one of the first such companies in the world, European Protein has, with use of simple biology, developed dry fermented feed products. With the use of lactic acid forming bacteria, the pH level is reduced to below 4. In this environment, harmful bacteria like Salmonella, E. coli and others are drastically reduced. We are already familiar with lactic acid forming bacteria used to make foods like yogurt that help stabilize human digestive tracts. European Protein now transfers this technology to dry feed systems for livestock production. We have designed a protein where we can maintain the good properties of lactic acid forming bacteria and enzymes in a dried feed product. So we achieve optimal gut health in the animals. Simply put, they do not get sick. Research and scientific work has been carried out on designer protein. Full-scale factory production has already been distributed around Europe. Manager Hagen Rossmann, Germany. We have had diarrhea in the herd and on closer examination determined that the problem was resistant coli bacteria. We tried different medications but did not find a sustainable solution. Then we switched to designer protein and this has been used with the feeding for 10 to 12 weeks. We are very satisfied. The diarrhea is gone, growth is better, and we don't need to use medicine anymore. Farmers Kenneth Clausen and Johan Clausen, Denmark. In the autumn of 2011, we had big problems with diarrhea in this barn. We tried many different things, including protective diet for pigs and different medications, but neither was really effective. During 2012, we were presented with designer protein, and when we started feeding with this, the diarrhea disappeared, and the drug consumption has declined substantially. I must say that it is incredible how it has been able to work. When you look at the pigs now, there's no diarrhea. And we have been running over half a year with the protein product now. It really works. The farm's veterinarian, Christian Hahn, tried several options before the problem was solved. In this barn, diarrhea and gastrointestinal problem had been the primary problem. Of course, we tried a variety of things to get the problem under control. Disinfection of water systems, re-optimization of compound feed, etc. When we first added designer protein to the feed, we could see a better gastrointestinal health. And now we use half the medicine as we did before. By ensuring a healthy and stable gastrointestinal health in livestock production, production cost and use of medicine will decrease. Board member, Danish Pig Research Center, farmer Peter Kier Knudsen. 
The possibilities of designer protein, in our case, is that we can maintain a high level of health of our pigs and a very low medicine consumption. We now use only one-tenth of the medicine we used earlier. The German feeding expert, Dr. Gerhard Stahl-Johann, has for several years followed the development of fermented feed. Well, in my opinion, fermentation allows a good possibility for maintaining a healthy gut. Previously fermented feed can result in reduced antibiotic use, which is generally advantageous. Research from Plymouth University, United Kingdom, shows that when animals are fed with designer protein, they contract significantly less salmonella. Lecturer in Microbiology, Plymouth University, United Kingdom, Dr. Jane Beale. We are getting closer to making animal husbandry more biosecure. I've done some studies where I've fed fermented rapeseed to chickens and reduced the incidence of salmonella. So I believe there's real potential in using designer proteins for animal feed. In addition to the benefits of good health in the barn, there are significant environmental benefits when feeding with designer proteins. When pig feed is fermented, up to 35% more phosphorus is accessible to the pig in the diet, and retention of phosphorus is therefore increased. This leads up to 75% less phosphorus excretion into our environment. Head of Research Unit, Department of Animal Science, Aarhus University, Denmark, Hanne Damgaard Poulsen. Uh, recently, our research has shown that we can increase the digestibility of phosphorus by uh, feeding the animals specific diets, and uh, thereby we can decrease the excretion of phosphorus and improve the utilization. We have also seen that uh, it would probably be the same when we feed specific uh, protein sources to the animals, whereby the nitrogen utilization could be improved. In collaboration with researchers, new methods have been discovered in which seaweed and microalgae can be used as alternative and sustainable new raw protein sources for feed. Department of Bioscience, Aarhus University, Denmark, Annette Brun. Well, seaweed is a very interesting biomass with a lot of potential. Um, on a global scale, we have more than 10,000 different species of seaweed. And in Denmark alone, we have more than 500 species. And each of these uh, species of seaweed have their own unique amino acid profile, and they contain fatty acids, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Many consumers are concerned about the use of genetically modified organism nutrition sources, also known as GMOs, in the production of food. With designer protein, it is possible to produce a nutritionally balanced non-GMO feed and provide 100% GMO-free feed to animals. Today, more than 80% of the world protein supply is soy-based. This is because there are few alternatives. European protein sources contain bitter substances, also known as anti-nutritive factors, or AMFs. Animals will hardly eat them. Through the fermentation process, all ANFs are destroyed. Simply translated, the bitter substances are broken down, thus bringing palatability to the feed the animals consume. Even with the extended use of more plant protein, the amino acid combinations are limited. By using some of the 60,000 known microalgae and 10,000 known seaweed species, we are now able to take advantage of these algae and seaweed differing amino acid profiles. The combinations are unlimited, with optimal targets for each animal group specific amino acid needs. By utilizing algae and seaweed, the world's food supply can be boosted rapidly, as these can yield up to 15 times the crop per acre in water than on land. European temperate waters are optimal for production of seaweeds. And by making use of the sea as well as the land would give a really good opportunity to produce more sustainable protein. And it makes really good sense that you, at the same time, extract nutrients from the ocean via the seaweed, bring them back into the food chain on land. 
The innovation of the new product is welcomed by Henrik Fransen, Danish Agriculture and Food Council. I see great perspectives in this, both within the animal welfare area, where you feed the animals in a way that they achieve a higher health, and also in the environmental area. I can see that many of the challenges we currently are facing concerning nutrients in marine environment can be solved, and in a way which both creates high-value feed to livestock, and at the same time ensures that we clean up after ourselves in the water environment. High medicine consumption is not good for the consumer or the producer. Therefore we are, as producers, constantly looking for solutions to avoid medication usage. Designer protein technology is definitely one of the solutions. We are pleased that with designer protein we no longer need to use medicine. And our animals are growing nicely. We should not forget that the phosphorus is an essential nutrient for all living animals. Uh, and furthermore, phosphorus is a limited resource globally. Therefore, it is really important to go for solutions that can improve the utilization of the plant-borne phosphorus that we feed to the animals. In order to meet the future challenges facing agriculture, we need to think of novel solutions, such as fermented designer proteins. European protein has come a long way in the development of a biosecure feed product for livestock production. But constant research and innovation is required, so that we ensure that we are well equipped to match future requirements and demands. European protein. Tomorrow's solutions. Today.